I'm curious whether or not you really believe that this is a life-threatening situation for one or both of you. I 100% believe it's a life-threatening situation for both of us. Okay, so you really think th this could get so violent that she could aggress against you and one of you wind up dying either intentionally or accidentally? Oh, that, I, I know that's what's going to happen. Okay, what do you think? Do you think this is a really volatile situation? <clears throat> no, I don't think it's a life or death situation. She's let me live on the sh live on the streets for months without contacting me, having me blocked. She didn't mm. even care. So why is she saying this? Is she just melodramatic mom, or wh wh yeah. what's all this about? Like she just wants to appear like she's super mom, but there's been it's been over ten months without her talking to me. Melinda says that all of this trouble with you started with a night of this party at the house. Let's take a look at this and then I'll let you comment on it. A few years ago, when my daughter was in the first year of high school, I received a call from our local police that my daughter was okay, but my home was completely destroyed. I was going to have a little get together with people that I know and it ended up turning into my address being posted on social media. Around 100 people showed up and the police described it as a riot. My neighbors thought I was dead. When the police went there, I was like, go upstairs, this girl's throwing up. She threw up on my mom's bed. They had to take her away in an ambulance. I had no front door. It was ripped off and thrown into the street. The front deck was collapsed. My front windows were broken. Our sofas were ripped apart. Someone peed and on my bed. There was a few holes punched in the wall and my TV was broken. They stole video games, clothing, including my underwear. The party went crazy because the girls brought me liquor and I ended up getting intoxicated. Before this, I never drank. I think that's what the plan was. Get Cassidy as drunk as she can so we can take over her house. Altogether, there was over $33,000 worth of damages. I was devastated. So you guys agree that this happened? It did oh, happen, 100%. Yeah. Yes, it did. Okay. I was set up by girls at my school. And there was quite a bit of damage to the house. A door yes. was ripped off your house. Uh, there was a broken deck. There were holes in the walls, punched in the wall. The blinds were ripped off. How many people showed up? Like 100 people? Yeah, probably over 100 people. It was <clears throat> the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. Now, there was a transition in your life because you were kind of a, a you, you said a very quiet sort of wallflower kid when you were younger. You were, you said you were overweight and kind of invisible and got bullied a lot. And then you were kind of a late bloomer and in high school, uh, that all changed for you. Yeah, like I started getting more attention. Like I started working on myself. I went on a diet. I lost, a, lost over 60 pounds.